Hi. Hi, welcome to the Toronto Fashion Incubator. Thank you. Who is Susan Langdon? Susan Langdon is the executive director of the Toronto Fashion Incubator, third generation Canadian, and I'm born and raised in Toronto. Wow. What is your current favorite piece of clothing you own? Um, I can't pinpoint because of too many wonderful things, but I'm going to say that it's black and it's Canadian. <laughs> That's great. Who is your fashion legend? Well, I'm going to suggest a name that probably not too many people have heard of. Her name is Mary Stephenson, and she was very popular in the 70s and 80s, probably the 90s as well. And she was sort of the unofficial ambassador of Canadian fashion design. She helped launch the careers and the businesses of really notable names like Marilyn Brooks, Pat McDonough, John Warden, Bagatelle. And she brought those names to the public mm. and beyond our borders. And before her, nobody really paid attention to Canadian design. So she really uplifted the industry. She was amazing. And, you know, I've always admired her and always wanted to be like her and be the next ambassador of Canadian fashion design. What made you smile? Oh, this is lame, I know. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> All right. When I'm really feeling blue, there's nothing that makes me smile than looking at little kitten videos on Instagram. <laughs> Those are great. I'm just Everybody being doing that, by the way. Good. I'm not alone. I'm not the only loser. What exciting thing in Canadian fashion right now? I think the most exciting thing are the opportunities outside of Canada. So for example, uh, the Canadian government has been really good at encouraging designers to explore export markets like in the UK and in Europe. Mm -hmm. So for the last four seasons, I've been taking a group of Canadian designers to show at London Fashion Week so that they could meet with retail buyers, media and sales agents. And it's been great. That's amazing, and yeah. you just came back from a really successful trip. Thank you, I just came back from that trip. <laughs> what opportunity you'd like to have if you're starting out in the fashion industry? You know, I used to think uh, that you needed to be the best designer, and the best pattern maker, and the best draper, and I, I studied fashion design, I don't know if you know that, I went to Ryerson. But what I've discovered through my career is really, you need to have the right connections to open those doors. You could be the best of the best, but you know, there's there's skill, but there's also luck and there's opportunity. Yeah, and you have to create those opportunities by networking. That's right, networking is really the way to go. What is a trend you would like to see? I would love to see the return to elegance and grace and um, women really taking care of themselves and, and having some class. Like, I, it drives me crazy when I look at Instagram and I see these girls showing everything they've got and it's like, really, like that's, it's, it's too much. You know, like just a, a little hint of what you have I think is a lot more alluring than showing all the TNA that's on the Instagram. It's Classy just, instead of trashy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, your favorite color? Um, take a guess. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe it's black? <laughs> if you have only one item in your closet, what would it be? Well, it would be Canadian, and it would be black, and it would probably be a dress because you can't go outside in just a top or in just pants. At least I wouldn't. <laughs> what do you look for in a Canadian designer? I'm looking for someone who has a very strong point of view, someone who brings something different to the table, to the market. Um, but then, of course, you need to have very strong business skills, understanding cash flow management, and knowing the marketing part of the business. All right. So we're going to go into the rapid fire question. OK. Ready? Yes. Looks. Luxury? Yes. Uh, I'm going to say Louis Vuitton. Red? Louboutin. <laughs> oh, glamorous. Old Hollywood movies. Silhouette. Tapered. Coffee. Americano miso. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Bye. Bye.